Hey, welcome back to Moon Pie Creations. Uh, you guys may recognize this from uh, this video. Well, hell, I don't know. Let's go over here or over here, probably right here. This video right here where I uh, went into my town, they had a big giant white oak that fallen over on a car and I got a few pieces of it. Uh, milled up one and I got to go ahead and I uh, turned that into a bowl and a platter and I'll put that back up here also. Uh, in the meantime, while that one is drying, I'm going to go ahead and cut this bad boy in half and see if we can get a 18, 17 inch blank out of it, uh, probably from over here. And uh, Come on over here and I'll show you what we're going to do. Okay, here's what we got. Uh, we got the pith right here. There's another pith right here. So we have the two pits. It looks like where the crotch started for this whole section where the limbs went off. Uh, but we're going to take it off of this side of the log. You see the little bit of checking. I don't know how far that goes in. We're going to try to come straight down here. And this is 24 inches. And if we do it right, we can get about eight inches deep probably seven inches deep um, the problem is that we have let me show you here that right there we're gonna have to cut off and there's also one right there that we're gonna have to cut off so uh, let's give this a shot I'm not going to cut this all the way through because it's got the uh, it's got this log standing up straight and that's what I want so I can cut this down this middle here all right uh, we're gonna go ahead and start cutting this bad boy Go ahead and split this bad boy open and see what we got. Oh. Beautiful wood. This is a uh, white oak, very tight grained, but that's the part we're after since we still have the pith in this piece of wood right here. Let's get these out of here. night crawler right there you see yeah. all right so the max capacity of my 1836 is 18 inches so I'm gonna see if I can get a 17 and a half inch blank out of this I think 18 will rub so Alright, so now that we got the circle out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to go uh, over this line with a magic marker. No need to show you that. Alright. Alright, so now I've got the circle drawn on here with some uh, magic marker. This thing is way too big to bring over to my, my bandsaw. So, we're going to have to go ahead and go old school with this. this into a 
another blank uh, here in just a little bit. This is going to limit how big the bowl is. So I may need to take this and shift it over some to get more of the heartwood. Here's the blank. This thing is uh, pretty heavy. I think I'm gonna kind of shave it down just a little right here to even it out because this thing ain't gonna do very well on the lathe. It's so big and heavy. I have done a seven inch line all the way around it. So I'll have this little piece left. And I've got this defect in here. I hope it doesn't go too far. Uh, but I think I can round it over enough that it goes out if it doesn't go too far in there. If not, we'll fill it with something. Got a pith right in there from that, but I think that can, that'll go away once we go into it. So, here we go. Now, it's time to turn that son of a bitch. All right, we got our second one. Enough of that shit. 